in this session i'll be going to discuss tunnel diode and that tunnel diode is also referred as isaki diode so regarding tunnel diode this is session outline in that first i'll be going to explain symbol of tunnel diode then we'll see what are the basics which is there with tunnel diode then we will be observing what is the internal structure of tunnel diode then we will be observing what is the characteristic then i will be going to explain how tunnel diode works and then we will be seeing what is the band diagram which is there with tunnel diode so let us begin this session with first point that is tunnel diode symbol so if we see symbol of tunnel diode then that symbol of tunnel diode that is this where this is anode and this is cathode so this is a symbol of tunnel diode now second point which is what we are deal with to discuss that is the base various basics which is there regarding tunnel diode so if i talk about tunnel diode then this tunnel diode has been invented by leo isaki in 1957 so it is invented by leo isaki in 1957 and based on that he received nobel prize based on that he have received nobel in 1973 so in 1973 he had received nobel based on tunnel diode invention tunnel diode is first manufactured by sony in 1957 so sony company have manufactured tunnel diode first so sony have manufactured tunnel diode first in 1957 and then after in 1960 onwards some other companies like general electrical have initiated manufacturing of that so from 1960 onwards other companies like general electrical have started manufacturing of tunnel diode so sony is the first company where tunnel diode is manufactured first and then after some other companies have started to manufacture this if we talk about the basic operation of tunnel diode then that is been used for fast switching so we can use tunnel diode in microwave applications so tunnel diode has fast switching characteristic so it is utilized in microwave applications <clears throat> tunnel diode basically works based on quantum mechanical tunneling so it is basically based on its working is basically based on quantum mechanical tunneling so it is working based on quantum 
mechanical tunneling. So that I will be going to explain when I explain how tunnel dial works. So at that time we, you will be able to understand like how quantum mechanical tunneling is been happening. Now if we talk about different sets of tunnel diode, then highest frequency room temperature solid state oscillator are based on resonant tunneling diode. So that is even called as RTD. So when we talk about highest frequency, highest frequency room temperature highest frequency room temperature solid state oscillators are based on RTD that even refers as resonant frequency sorry resonant tunneling diode resonant tunneling bad. So this is one category which is what we use for uh, high frequency solid state operation with oscillations. So that is even refers as resonant tunneling diode. Another type of tunnel diode is metal insulator metal. So we can say metal insulator metal and in short it is even referred as MIM. So that is one category of tunnel diode and it is having limitation of applications. The reason is it has been utilized in the research. So we usually see it in the rare condition. The reason is most of the applications which is there with MIM that is regarding research. So mostly it is used in research based applications. So most of the time it has been utilized in applications based on research. So MIM that we do not see such very often in most of the applications. So this is what about basic of tunnel diode. Tunnel diode is even referred as Isaki diode. The reason is it has been invented by Leo Isaki in 1957 and based on that he received Nobel Prize. And it has been first manufactured by Sani and from 1960 onwards General Electrical have initiated its manufacturing. It is very fast in terms of switching that is why we use that in microwave applications. Its working is based on quantum mechanical tunneling. So that I will be going to explain you when, we ex when I explain uh, its working. There are two some other categories of tunnel diode like RTD which has been used from which has been used for highest frequency room temperature solid state oscillations and one more category which is there with tunnel diode that is metal insulator matter MIM but mostly that has been utilized for research based applications. So now let us move on to third point and that is tunnel diode structure. So when we talk about tunnel diode structure, so that is PN junction structure, but the basic difference which is there with tunnel diode that is it is having very highly dubbed P type layer and N type layer. So P and N layer junction that is there in tunnel diode, but doping concentration of P type layer and N type layer is extremely high in tunnel diode. So this, that is the basic difference and one more thing that we can see in its fabrication. So here we can observe like P type material is smaller than N type material which is over here and here we can observe one junction is there. So ultimately size of N plus region that is more than size of P plus region. 
when we talk about its fabrication then it could be fabricated by few materials like we can use gallium arsenide we can use gallium antimonide and even we can use silicon so these are the basic materials which is been used to fabricate tunnel diode so fabrication of tunnel diode structure of tunnel diode consist p plus and n plus material it is very heavily doped material and because of heavy doping of this p plus and n plus material this depletion region this depletion region is very narrow so we will be observing like see this depletion region that will be very narrow in case of tunnel diode and that is because of high doped p and n type material which is what we are using it in tunnel diode so this is how it has been structured now let us move on to next point that is tunnel diode characteristic so tunnel diode characteristic first i'll be explaining you tunnel diode characteristic and then after we will be observing like see how that tunnel diode characteristic happens so when we talk about tunnel diode characteristic and if i keep that tunnel diode in forward bias then what happens is as i connect anode positive with respect to cathode that uh, tunnel diode will be in forward bias condition and as if it is in forward bias condition if we increase voltage current will increase gradually and uh, current that flows as per tunneling effect that tunneling effect that i will be explaining later on so initially what happens is as we increase voltage current will increase and it will increase up to this point name of this point is peak point and after that reaches to peak point if we further increase voltage current will decrease and it will decrease up to this point and this point is called as valley point and after that if we increase current further it will act as normal diode so this is how characteristic of tunnel diode is there now let us try to understand how that characteristic is coming and what is the working which is there with tunnel diode so to understand that we need to understand what happens in participation of flow of current in case of normal pn junction diode and what happens in terms of participation participation of current in case of working of tunnel diode so here when we talk about normal pn junction diode and when we talk about tunnel diode there is only one difference in between these two diode tunnel diode is heavily doped so depletion region width is narrow while normal pn junction diode is lightly doped so depletion region width is more in normal pn junction diode now when we keep diode in forward bias we need to connect anode positive with respect to cathode now in normal pn junction diode what happens is as if i provide forward bias voltage those electron which is having greater potential energy than potential barrier those electrons which is having greater potential energy than potential barrier those electrons will jump from n type material to p type material so here these electrons that is having energy which is greater than potential barrier so these electrons will jump this potential barrier and that will participate that will participate in flow of current so here we can observe in normal pn junction diode those electrons which is having higher potential energy than the energy of potential barrier those electrons will jump to 
n type material uh, sorry those electrons will jump from n type material to p type material and they will participate in flow of current but when we talk about tunnel diode tunnel diode is heavily doped and because of that its depletion width is very narrow and due to depletion width is very narrow those electrons even that is having less energy than the energy of potential barrier they may penetrate through the barrier the reason is barrier's width is narrow so what happens is those electrons which is having higher energy they will jump and they will participate from n type material to p type material for a flow of current but those electrons those even having lower energy they may penetrate through potential barrier and they they may participate in a flow of current so this is what tunneling effect this is what tunneling of electrons even though energy of those electrons is less than barrier still they can tunnel through the barrier and they can participate in a flow of current so here there can be a flow of electron from n to p even though electrons are having lesser energy than the energy which is there with barrier energy so this is how tunneling is happening so tunneling means what it is what penetration of electrons through the barrier even though that barrier is having lower energy so quantum mechanics quantum mechanics explains if depletion region is having very narrow width in that case electrons can easily penetrate through that and that is what the case which happens over here here depletion width is very narrow still electrons can easily penetrate through that and that is how tunneling is happening now let us try to understand what happens inside tunnel diode with energy band diagram and by energy band diagram i'll be going to explain what happens in characteristics so here we can see tunnel diode so tunnel diode is extremely heavily doped diode and doping concentration of tunnel diode is 1000 times greater than the doping concentration which is there with normal pn junction diode so depletion region is extremely narrow and one more difference that we can observe there will be a more gap which will be there in between p type layer and n type layer so here we can see this is conduction band so this is conduction band this is valence band means ev so this is even valence band of n type layer so there will be more gap in between conduction band and valence band of p type layer with respect to conduction band and valence band of n type layer we can see these are electrons which is there in conduction band of n type layer and these are holes which is there in valence band of p type layer so if it is in no bias condition electrons those are penetrating through depletion region are getting combined with holes of p type region and same number of holes are getting flowed from p type to n type and that is getting combined with n type so here total number of electrons and total number of holes flow is equal so that is leading to zero current flow in forward bias so we can say in no bias condition voltage will be zero and current will be zero so if we see that in this characteristic that point will be this so here this point is called as point o which is what i have mentioned over here point o where we can see the gap in between this two that is more now if we increase forward bias voltage that gap that will decrease like say initially it is more this gap this is more but now if i increase forward bias voltage this gap will start to decrease so if i say in forward bias this gap is decreasing the electrons which is jumping over from 
n type to p type that will be participating in the flow of current so what happens is as voltage increasing current will increase and in characteristic we can see it will be reaching up to this point that point is called as point a so which is what i have mentioned up to point a it will be increasing that voltage and that will leads to narrow down of that gap which is there in between uh, conduction band and well conduction band of n type 2 valence band of p type so this is what conduction band of p and this is valence band of p and here this will be conduction band of n and valence band of n so now this uh, gap in between conduction band and valence band that is getting decreased as we increase forward bias voltage now what happens is as we further increase that forward bias voltage now we can see this diagram the holes of conduction uh, holes of valence band see this is p type material where this is conduction band of p and this is valence band of p so holes of valence band and electrons of conduction band in n type so that is almost parallel to each other so here this is conduction band of n type and valence band of n type so con electrons of conduction band in n type and holes of valence band in p type both are almost getting parallel to each other and tunneling is happening like this so in that case it will reaches to peak point in the characteristic so i have shown that by point p as it is there by point p now if i increase further forward bias voltage in that case now this gap that will get decrease and now it will shift like this so because of that shifting now uh, that uh, conduction band and valence band now they will start to overlap to each other from p type to n type in that case as if we further increase voltage current will decrease and it will be decreasing till that gap of holes for p type and electrons for n type that is getting nullified so if both are up to this level in that case we can observe like see as if voltage increases current in decreases so here we can see that in this characteristic so as if we increase voltage current is decreasing and that will decrease up to this point and that point is noted as v valley point where we are observing in this region negative resistance characteristic so negative resistance characteristic that is what we are observing and that happens as per this band diagram where from where from equal layer to that gap which is what exactly narrowed down so till that point from point p to point v will be observing negative resistance characteristic and if we further increase forward bias voltage this gap again will get shifted like this this gap again will get shifted like this and now we can observe this gap is getting reduced to, to more amount and now this diode will work as a normal forward bias and as if voltage increases further beyond v current will increase so if we see that in characteristic you can say like see over here in this point b now from valley point if voltage increases current increases so in between p to v if voltage increase current decreases and for other region if voltage increase then current increase so this is how band diagram is there and this is how tunnel diode offers negative resistance characteristics thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and if any query is left